is a four-time world champion boxer who won all 31 of his professional fights before losing by decision to Felix Trinidad last September. This Saturday, he's taking on Daryl Coley at Madison Square Garden. Please welcome the golden boy, Oscar De La Hoya. Great to have you here. Oh, thank you for having me. It's, it is amazing. I mean, it's just like it's. I would never believe in a million years that you that you're a boxer. You just have that that great face. Thank you, you know? very much. Yeah, I, it. I, it's, it's in person. It's just, I'm going to hit you right now. <laughs> We'll solve that problem. You know what? Uh, I'm thinking about this. Must be kind of a strange experience for you tonight. You come out here and you see all these people because you have been in preparation for this fight. You've been in seclusion. I've Am been I right? in seclusion for uh, about two months. For two yeah, months. Up in the mountains in California. Okay. Just total well, seclusion. Feels different being out with the people and with the crowd. It's I just really not used to it because I over the year, um, right. I'm gonna seclude myself for about eleven months. Right. So of uh, training and so it's it's different for me. So in that time, I don't mean to get too personal, but do you, you avoid women completely before a fight? Y yes. Yes you do. Really? Well, what do you think he's gonna do now? <laughs> He'd come up in the audience right now. Uh, you you avoid you avoid women completely. What is the what is the philosophy behind that? Because um, I could see it working both ways. Is the, philosoph the philosophy is that women, for boxers and just for boxers alone, they weaken your legs for some reason. I don't know, but I don't I don't I just don't believe it. It's true of talk show hosts too. <laughs> I have I have never uh, but, uh, you know have sex before a talk show and we do one every night which is <laughs> for seven years which is very sad. Uh, it's pretty frustrating, isn't it? Now uh, I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I'm about to start crying. Uh, now, now, you had a strange experience. Talk about strange experiences. You ran into, yesterday at a television show taping, you ran into Monica Lewinsky. Yes, yes. I would think if you're trying to stay out of trouble, that's not the woman you want to run into. <laughs> I just said hi to her and <laughs> no, no. I went my way. And ran it. away, yeah. <laughs> she doesn't need a lot of time. <laughs> now, look, you can, my job is to be booed and hated by America. <laughs> that's what it says in my contract. Now, I have to ask you, you have a weigh-in tomorrow. This is a bit of a ritual. Yes. You have a weigh-in. And at your last weigh-in, your towel accidentally dropped, and you were naked. And in front of it, the weigh-in is not just in front of officials. There's a lot of... How many people were there and saw you naked? At that weigh-in, there was, uh, like, 6,000 people. <laughs> About 6,000 Well, they just people. heard you were going to be naked, yeah. probably. And 90% and of them were women, but I... <laughs> Yeah, I, I just the towel fell. It just, I just. Yeah. I, well, we have a picture here, which has I been uh, doctored here. But this is you at the, <laughs> this is you at the weigh-in. That's gotta be. I mean, I can't be nude when I'm just alone. And you have. It was, it was pretty embarrassing. I was getting some slack from it um, afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking that the promoters, the people that actually make a lot of money on these fights, they should have to be do a naked weigh-in too. Don't you think that's only they fair? Should. They, they, they I have should. a picture of what that would be like. I think we should see. It's just a. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. <laughs> we're gonna sell that as we're selling that as postcards in the lobby. And guess what? We're not doing well with them. Uh, now you you have gotten a lot of women interested in boxing, and a lot of women now more than more than usual come to, to see you fight. Is that true? It's it's true. Um, for some reason I I, I don't know. Maybe yeah. it's my left hook or something. Yeah, right, know. right. But um, technical pro, you know prowess. <laughs> right. uh, it, what is their reaction? What do women react differently than men to a fight? It's, it's funny because uh, in a in a boxing fight, I mean, you get these you know diehard boxing uh, you know guys, you know fight fans, you know, and 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 they're cheering and they're booing and. In my fights, I mean, it's, I would say about 75% of them are women, and, and when they throw a punch, they're like, oh, don't hurt him, and, and they're, they're screaming. And they're, so it's, it's, it's they different. run out there a lot and start hitting him with a shoe. Yeah. Uh, a lot of celebrities also turn out for these fights. Is it, I would think, I mean, what kind of celebrities are, are That's turning the fun out? part. That's the fun part. It's sometimes a distraction because there's like so many celebrities. Right. Um, one of my favorites that, that attends fights is uh, Al Pacino. He's... He's a cool, you He's know what, man. it's funny you said that because I saw him two nights ago 
and an Italian restaurant sitting in the corner. And that is a, when you see Al Pacino, that's a very cool sighting. Oh, awesome. But I think you're trying to concentrate and box and it would be like, you know, Al Pacino. And then, you know, is, <laughs> right. is there ever, is it hard not to, to focus on that? It, it's very tough to focus actually, because I mean, first of all, seeing so many beautiful women in the audience, and then you have all these stars, and then... You can't be checking out women during the fight. Just, I don't, I don't. Uh, you, uh, I'm curious about something, an aspect of your job. Uh, you once broke an opponent's nose with one punch in 26 places, okay? And I'm curious... I'm not you, very proud of that. Let me no, no, I'm, I'm not saying you are. I'm just wondering, what do you do after something like that? I mean, do you call the guy up? Do you send him? What do you, what do you send a guy like that? Um, normally... For a fighter, mm -hmm. after you're secluded for so many months, um, right. some flowers on a stripogram maybe would help. <laughs> yeah, right. That'll make them uh, that would make pretty it all. happy. <laughs> now, if you get hit, you must have a good... Because, you know, as I was saying, you don't look like you have a mark on you. Do you have a technique? If you, if you get a bruise or something, what's a technique that uh, you use? My technique is, uh, is um, a real cold steak. If I get a bruise or a cut or something. So people really do that? You put a steak on yeah, your eye? Yeah, a real eye? cold steak. And... Um, I uh, cook it afterwards and eat it and... <laughs> what? <Okay. laughs> you cook it? Save some money, why not? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's gonna hear that. <laughs> Seasoned by Oscar De La Hoya. Well, you have uh, your fight, Oscar De La Hoya versus Daryl Coley this Saturday night on HBO. You wanna make a prediction before you go? Um, I'm just a win. I'm, I'm very ready. I've been in training camp for so long that um, you, I'm you ready do? to win. All right. Yes. Hey, well, good luck to you. Thank you, Dylan. I appreciate it. Oscar De La Hoya, everybody. Howie Mandel is coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.